and welcome to See the World with Ajala Nene, a podcast that takes you on a journey across Nigeria and Africa to explore the country and the continent's diverse and vibrant culture. Our esteemed guests will share their experiences and insights into the local tourism scene from hidden gems to must-see attractions. So grab a cup of coffee and join us as we see the world with Ajala Nene. Whether you're planning a trip to Nigeria or Africa, or simply want to explore and experience the continent from the comfort of your own home, this podcast is for you. So sit back, relax, and let's explore Nigeria and Africa together. Sanuo, welcome. I'm excited to introduce today's section of the Wonder Lost Wonder segment on See the World with Ajala Nene. Remember, this is where we spotlight tourist sites in Africa and beyond. And today's spotlight is ancient canoe city walls. Quoted as the most impressive monument in West Africa, the ancient canoe city walls, known as Gaunwa in Hausa, were ancient defense walls built to protect the inhabitants of the ancient city of Kanu. This historical site is made up of the following features. 1. Danla Hills. This was an architectural site of an ancient settlement dating back to the 10th century AD. Kurumi Market. One of the oldest and largest local markets in Africa used to serve as an international market for trans-Sahara trade. And number three, the Emirates Palace, which was built in the 15th century. So, if you're interested in seeing the West African version of the Great Wall of China, yes, you heard me right, then Ancient Kano City Walls is for you. So, our guest for today is ready for us. Let's jump in now. Hi, everyone. First and foremost, please, I, you guys pardon me. I'm laughing. <laughs> 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 my producer would be very angry to me right now <laughs> but anyway I have someone here and he's really really special to me oh he's one of my, my he's one of my baby boys in the tourism space I watched him grow and I'm so honoured to have him it's okay oh, calm down it's okay now sorry I'm honoured to have him here <laughs> he's the I am a a dead DJ. You know, I wish you called him a dead DJ. Yeah. So please, guys, remember it's a dead DJ. Yes, no, no, not D E. No. J I is D I J I. Yes. He has corrected me hundred times. Yes. So I mean, a dead DJ is a highly skilled tour packager, experienced curator, destination promoter, and a tourism marketer. One person for this title. <laughs> he is the present he's presently the founder of the Iomedia Travels, a tour operating agency that provides local and international vacation packages yes, and promotes inbound tourism by actively participating in adventurous and cultural tours. Yeah. Hi, Yomide. Hey. Hey, boo. Hi. Uh, How are you? I, I'm all right. No, I said she behaved yourself. Sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, it's Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, how did you get here? Why the tourism space? Oh, that What's question. question? <laughs> <laughs> that question. Um, yes, like she has um, told us my bio. But then the interesting thing I used to tell people that people get amazed that when I say this is that um, even though I studied quantity surveying in school. Quantity survey? Yes, that's and then I'm now doing tourism. Um I've loved to travel. I've always loved traveling. And um my parents helped me with that. And mm. because as at age twelve, I attended the boarding school. Okay. So we stayed in we stay in Lagos. Boarding school was in Ocean State, Kiri. Okay. So as young as I am, I go to school myself. Hmm. They just say get to the park and then the family. Bye bye. And then in the next three months you come back mm. all by yourself. So the road trip has always been an interesting thing for me. Okay. And I've been loving the view, seeing the landscape, seeing the trees, seeing all of those things. It's it used to spark interest. <laughs> so I loved it. And then when I got into school, my 300 level, I knew conserving wasn't for me hmm. already. And By then, 300 level? 300 level. It was a five years course. Oh, it's a five year course. Five years course. So 300 level, I knew, no, 
I'm not the kind of person to sit down in a, in a site, a construction <laughs> site. I'm just imagine you. Oh my God. Yo, I'll be too playful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then uh, I felt it was a compensation God gave to me and said, you, mm. you you can't be serious with all of these things. So let me just give you something. And then tourism came around. So I, luckily for me in 300 level, mm-hmm. um, a company, a startup actually reached out to me and said, um, do you want to, do you love exploring things? How did they find you? So we were in school. So another thing is we were in a particular Social community club. in school, okay. yeah, in club, Enactus. So Enactus was that place where everybody gets to do community What's the project. What's the um, Enabling um, action through us. So it's okay. it's formally SAIF, student in free enterprise. Okay. So what we do basically is go to into the community and then help develop a sustainable a social project okay. and then make money out of it while mm-hmm. helping the community. Okay. So that's what we do, just go into community, help them mm-hmm. see a need, help them make money for them mm-hmm. and all it was just like so that. It's like a community so, nation, yes, community, community um, thingy. thinking, a CSR kind of thing. Yes. Okay. So there I, I for students. For students. Okay. Okay. And they'll go to communities okay. and then help adults and every other person. Mm. So with that, it helped me to connect to the to the community more. Mm. So I love that part. I saw things and then it just made more sense. Mm. And it made me go places also. We go to communities and from there we see that they have this particular thing that's kind of special. Mm-hmm. And they realize they're not even talking about it. Yeah. And it's a big thing. Mm-hmm. So the, the company called and said, let us do it. Just three or five of us. And then I remember that I'll leave my practicals during the weekend. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> see, serious, to see, 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 serious students in quotes. Wow. And then we just go on trips. So I attended Federal University of Technology at Korea. Okay. So we explored Dondo State. Mm. The Idori Hills. Idori Hills. And- Araromi Beach, as I then. Mm. And then it was just interesting. And then I, st- I loved it. I was happy doing that. So I just felt this, this makes sense. So... And then after school, I asked myself that question, what's next? What next? <laughs> what next? Ultimate question. What next? And then after looking around, I realized I spent like two, three years with Discovery. The name of the company was Discovery with no more working. Mm-hmm. And then through that, we started this and then we worked. Interestingly, it was at the same time with um, Social Prefect okay. and the rest as mm-hmm. at that time. So they're just the new guys mm-hmm. doing serious about local tours, local tours exactly in Nigeria. in Nigeria and then I loved it we went promoting Badagri promoting places like that and I felt this makes sense for me it was passion mm. and then I just loved it mm. I don't mind spending my own last couple to, just to, to get to places to place, yeah. showcase it and the power of me loves writing okay. so I, I used to write about these things you in had my a own blog? Way. I had a blog at then mm. yes and then that's how we started. And then after school, I remember I told my friend what next also. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, let us apply for jobs for you. And I was like, what job exactly am I going to look for? Mm, with your degree. With my degree. And then, since you love tourism, why not let us look for any tourism Scout. company? Yeah. And lo and behold. And lo and behold, she sent me a link. I said, why? apply for this job. I didn't even know the company as a then. <laughs> <laughs> and then I applied. And on the day of the interview, they sent me a message and said, this is your, this is the address. Come to number two at the Beshita. <laughs> <laughs> and I got there, I was like, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Out of like seven people they interviewed that day, I'm the only guy. Wow. I was the only guy. <laughs> I was the last person they interviewed. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah, so yeah. playful about it. <laughs> And yes, it happened to be Gogi Africa. Gogi Africa. <laughs> oh yes, and that's why I, I, I was like, you. oh yes, and you met that. You're like, who is this woman? And yes, that's how it started. Mm. And then, yes. So, can you share your experience working with Gogi Africa? Oh. So um, I'm a spiritual first person. First and foremost, for those who don't know, because we also have international listeners. True. So let true. us share what Google Africa, who, who Google Africa is, yeah. and why they are special to us. Yes. So go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Google Africa, as some of us do know, and for those that doesn't know, they are a Pan African company. Yeah. 
and they are all about promotion of um, tour, culture festivals, yes. tourism basically, mm-hmm. and they do that through the media. Yeah, you know, you going to a place, bringing out what they have their and culture. telling it to the world mm-hmm. that this is what they do. And their focus was mostly for Africa. Yes, basically, it was Africa. Their names, and they traveled across Africa doing this. Mm-hmm. So. Ooh, when I heard that, when I knew that it was Good Girl Africa, funny thing is I was still watching the, the episode <laughs> <laughs> two I days to the interview. You don't know. <laughs> I don't even know this when I was coming to. And then I entered in the office and so like I was saying, I'm, I'm a spiritual person. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm a spiritual person. Mm-hmm. And I remembered when I was, and the word just came and said, you go to a place, they will teach you and mm. then they will pay you. Mm, mm, mm. Madam never knew this. Mm, mm. <laughs> that was that was the word that came because I was blank. I mm. thought I knew about tourism. I thought I, I it's about destinations oh, and going this waka. and going no. that. Ah, no, 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 no. It was it's it's an high up now. Mm-hmm. So Google Africa is that company that gave me a path mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was tur- I never knew tourism is small and yet so big. Huge. And you can get lost. Yes. You can wander in that space for ten years, yeah, and you I still don't know doing what anything. you are doing. Yes. So Google Africa gave me that. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed being under Mrs. Neka and Mr. Isaac. It was just a perfect blend. Mm. You know, it was. It gave me an idea of. Yeah, like a mother figure. Yes, and a and father, father figure, figure. In the tourism space. Yeah. There, I could knew what I knew what voices can could do. I don't blush. That's what I'm asking. I don't understand why. But when, voice, but when, but when Mr. Isaac speaks, speaks. Yeah? you don't let her go. Can you not see the money that make you <laughs> voice this? Can you to waste your <laughs> melodies? Can you not hear how oh beautiful this young man's voice is? No, we are we are getting there. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, go get regard. You know, give me that pathway. Yeah. I, I I entered as um tourism. Um, according to the on paper, it was tourism executive, mm. but it was beyond that. Mm-hmm. Madame made me experience all aspects of the company. We were we were covering festivals, we were you know selling tours mm-hmm. and all of that. Mm. I made mistakes, I made losses. So most of them they covered for it, which not all companies could do. Yeah. And then where I flawed, you know. They helped me up, gave me. I could remember one time. So, f- fun fact is, I'm a shy person. <laughs> 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 no, you you won't know. Oh, Madame knows about this. Please, 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 <laughs> please that detail. So there was I one. Understand what saying, <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you this gist. There was one time Madame dragged me and said, "We are going for this executive meeting." Mm. I could remember it was with Air Namibia, mm. and it's like you are going to speak. You have to talk Ew, in front of everybody. <laughs> and it was funny when we were having that conversations. We had th- Madame noticed that there are things these people were saying that we are not actually right, and I know that it's not right. Mm. But I never made the word. I never said anything. You just kept quiet. But she noticed by counting like, and then she was looking at me like, "What's going on? Don't want to speak. Say something. Say something. Talk." And then I remembered after that meeting, she was so f- angry. And then she go into the car, and then she said to me, "I was like, from now henceforth, whenever you speak to me, you look into my eyes, hmm. and whenever I am with you, you must talk. Hmm. You don't know what you are saying if it is right or wrong, but be bold and say what you have to say." Go, Auntie. Oh my God. Go, Auntie. It was it was five minutes of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she, she she just dealt with me, and I was yeah. like, yeah. And then she, each time we talk, each time we have conversation, she makes sure I look at her, and then that. Look at me, I am it. See, Mama, I will look, look right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's be Let me sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> so yes, that that was it. Working with Google Africa is, it was a it's a bliss. It was a bliss it's, for it's you. A bliss for, for I, and I, and I agree because I know you have attended some training. Whether yeah. through me or yeah. through Google Africa, other yeah. platforms, yeah. and I've seen how you've grown. Please, fun fact: this woman here paid for my first mm. tourism training. I don't understand what ah. that man is saying. 
I don't know where he's going. Money is around something about 50,000 naira. Guys. Ha. Oh my going god. Going forward, it's not about, it's about you. Going forward. So now you are in Gogo Africa. Then I remember the day you told me, Mama, I'm branching in to do my thing. Yeah. And I was like, Bro, you ready? Yeah. You say, Mama, yes, I'm ready. Yeah. So can you share how the journey has been with the Ayamidi travels? Oh Please, my. this one don't hide anything. Be very honest, because mm. no ideas we able to hear both the good and the bad side. Yeah. So as they're making the decision in this industry, yeah. they know that oh, somebody told me. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Go ahead. Um, first and foremost, I just want to thank God, and then mm. and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Honestly, there are many times I wanted to leave Google Africa due to some incidents, mm-hmm. and I felt this is the time I need to leave. Mm. But then there was this like you can't leave now. You are not even there yet. You can't leave. Mm-hmm. And I realized that I needed some training, administrative, um, organizing, yeah. on all of the stuff, talking mm-hmm. to people, Most negotiation. And you go, negotiation that was, oh my God. Oh, ne. Madame Ineka. <laughs> <laughs> she drank. She drew, drew that. Oh, no. And all of that. Yeah. If I had left earlier, I wouldn't have. You used to be you oh, be no. talking to you be here talking no. to me now because no. me I won't invite you for my podcast. No, exactly. I'll say it's serious. Because, <laughs> so yeah, I'm saying this because a lot of people want to leave school and just start a business. Mm. No, Mm-mm. no, Mm-mm. If you know, no, Mm-mm. no. There are things I used to say to people and to myself, or when I'm in doubt, mm-hmm. I say I used to say I have paid my dues. When I'm having imposter syndrome, mm-hmm. I say I have paid my dues. Mm-hmm. So when you learn there are things you fall back to not just the experience yeah but people no you go back and say yes there's a place i was coming from yeah i can reach out to them yeah so before i could say i want to branch out to start doing the family travels mm-hmm. i knew i got to that point that i know yes i've learned enough and i need to move on mm. Mm. I need to move on. And I'm still grateful for Google because immediately I knew I figured out what I wanted to do mm-hmm. and the path I wanted to go for. Mm-hmm. That was when I said, it's time. Good. And I remembered so we had a conversation. One, yeah. That means no. make sure you go through that training yes. to help you know exactly what you want to exactly. do. Exactly. All right, so you are saying this is that we had a conversation? Yes. So we had a conversation one time. I don't know one, and it was during a training. We had many, my dad. We had many. <laughs> and one of them was when you talked about knowing your why. Mm, yes. Question. So knowing your why. Yes. Yeah. So I, I knew my why. I already figured it out. Because I remember when I turned out my resignation letter to Madame, mm-hmm. she said, no, you can't go. I said, no, I have to. She said, no, you can't go. You said, you know what? Look into the company. Look at another area you can work and function. Mm. And they will take it off from there. But at that point, you knew you I knew why I needed to leave. It's not about going to and um, department. And you were making good money. So it's not, it's not yeah. you know, degrees, no, no, but, no. Was, but yes. More beyond that. It I need to say that part. So yes, please. No, there was money. There was money to the reasonable and extent. The opportunity to make and there was opportunity money. to make, make more money. money. But it's always beyond that nah, sometimes. It wasn't, uh, when you yeah. have a dream. Exactly. Yeah, I couldn't sleep when people started calling me the traveler, the traveler, I'm the, the traveler, I'm the, the traveler. And it was just ringing in your It was head. just in my head. The spirit was telling just you. Just in my head. The Ayamide travel. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I felt, ah, I can't really do what I needed to do with the target audience Google Africa had. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was, that was another why. Yes, that was another why. That was a strong why. Yeah. So yeah. if I want to push forward, I, I still can't. that conversation. Yes, yeah. I still can't reach out to this age range, mm-hmm. this audience. Yeah. And to they're reach not out. your They're not audience. mine. They are they're not it's their target audience. They're not my target audience. So I felt, oh, let me let me just branch out. It wasn't easy. It, and it still hasn't been really It's not it's easy. Process. Mm-hmm. Especially in an industry where trust is a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People want to see what you've done before, yeah. before paying you. So when I sell my product and I said, do you have, I was like, uh, I don't, but I promise you. So the only way I started was to make sure I delivered good service, mm. great service, mm-hmm. exceptional service. I was all out. 
I was all out. I had no, I had many losses because I still don't know how to price my product. I still don't know what price is right. I'm new into a lot of things. Mm. A young guy in Lagos trying to figure things out. I still want to make people smile and happy mm. and still make tourism available and accessible to every, everyone yeah. because that was my goal as of then. What's the goal now? The goal has changed. What's the goal now? So the goal is to make um, tourism available, mm -hmm. but yes, to make more money. Do what doing. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Over then, I wanted to please everybody. I was mm, like, then, right I was now, like, but right now, uh, I like that. I like that you said that. So if 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 there's something I like about you, is that you collaborate a lot. Oh yes. And that's one of the biggest. If you listen to our podcast from the first, this everybody says collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. Yes. It's the best competition. It is. So, can you share why did you decide to go into the collaboration part, okay. and how has that been helpful in oh, tourism business? Oh, okay. Yes. Um, first thing first was I had to dissect what a tour operator is as a person. As a person, not as a business. Not even as a business yet, but as a person. And then I went ahead to say what a tour operator to get a full understanding of what a tour operator is as a business. Okay. A tour operator, interestingly, doesn't own anything. You just call it. You just call it from this, call it from this, call it from and bring it together. That was it. And well, uh, you own something, your services. Your services, yes. But I knew what you mean. Maybe but you being, the yes, product. the elements, yes, the, the product, mm. yes. So I just felt I can't do this all on my own. Mm. I, I can't. And then because of my under, little understanding uh, about sustainable tourism mm. and responsible tourism, mm. giving back to the community, giving back to people, and I felt oh, this is the best. So what I do is no matter what you are offering, as long as it is good for me and for what I'm selling, I employ you. Okay. So what happens is that you make money, I make money. Mm -hmm. You reach out to people, more people, I reach out to more people. Mm -hmm. Um, the client is happy, satisfied, um, which is the goal. Mm. And I have less stress. I can't be running this one, running down. But unfortunately, um, it, we, most of us use that collaboration word a lot. Okay. But not really, really um, practicing, practicing it. it. Why do you say so? So I, I am saying this because um, when you say you want to collaborate with someone, and then the person says, oh yeah, let's collaborate. And then when it comes to the work, they're not ready to do the You're work. You're going to find that you won't do most of the work. And then you want us to have the same profit. Mm. Mm. Do you think that it's about time that when most of us who are working together start having legal structures where we actually sign agreements for these things? Because I've had that issue too, oh. where you find at the end of the day you don't want to do most of the work. It's mm. happened to me a countless time. The only reason why I still did is because I'm added to my CV as something that I did with other people. No, it's true. Yes, That's it the is. benefit. It is. Apart from the money I'll make, it's yeah. also having that on my CV. So if yes. I have bigger companies who end up coming to me, when I have, not if mm. I have, mm -hmm. when I have the bigger companies, yeah. I have evidence of things I've done. Yeah. But so do you think that it's got to that point where, especially small businesses like us, yeah. have to start signing NDA oh, yes. or agreement oh, yes. like my Morano no if I MOU so it's not strong. Oh yes. But really like contract individual yes. agreement. Yes. Oh yes. All shades of yes. So that everybody has knows what you are doing and what you're All doing. All shades what. of yes. Mm. <laughs> so um without any other of pride, I have been one person that I people talk to me a lot, especially my colleagues. Mm. So when I bring up any subject as regards especially collaboration, mm. I get people say, oh, hey, why do you know that this thing happened to me with this person? Mm. And they say, this thing happened to me with this person. And then this, so we, since because of that, I realized that, yes, we, do, we, we form of our familiarity yeah. with so many things and then it affects us. And our business. And our business. And then we, we put ourselves instead of our business first. Mm. It's your business. The moment you not know, um, realize that your business is different from you, in a way. From different just entity. Entity. It. Now that you're talking, man, this thing you just said, I'm, work, I'm recently working on my legal structure for my business. Perfect. And I've had to remove Nene Uwa. For Majalane. For Majalane. Because Majalane is a personal brand. Yeah. And then know what? It's, it's a, a business brand. Yes. And if you're not careful, when you start putting your personal brand and your business together, yeah. it causes problems. So that exactly. you even lose a lot of money. Yes. Because of that. So yes. I like what you just said yes. right now. And that's why we, we are particular about having that Instagram profile where we have Ayomide the Traveler 
and their immediate travels. Yeah, yeah, travels. So it has to so be two different, different, two different, different entities. Thing. Brands will not reach out to their IMDD traveler. Brand yeah. will reach out to them the travel. Yeah, because that one is That's the business. The business. So we should also have that consciousness mm. when doing business with our so called friends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Put it down mm-hmm. in paper. Put it down in paper. <laughs> they fight the well, app. You know, Nami they tell. <laughs> fight the app. Oh, I can destroy because no, of that. A lot. Oh, and then I mean, they come. Okay, Nenna, come together. <laughs> you know, there's a, you know, find that I mean, they do more work than Nenna. <laughs> and the way no profit comes, I mean, and Nenna is spending the same money. And you're like, oh, but you don't bring them, but we start to together. But because you don't have it written down on paper. Yeah. They get away with it. So I'm not saying you can fight with them in court, though, but uh, sometimes no. that paper helps. No, it does. Yes. It does. To avoid see finish and say, so this is what it is. This is what we sign. This is what we sign. Let's yeah. get it done. So, um, speaking of collaboration, um, I love collaborating with a particular set of people. Okay. Why because, particular set of people? Yes, because um, our goals align. Okay. We can correct ourselves. Okay. And then still be friends mm-hmm. and still know our mm-hmm. business is business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things go wrong and then we call ourselves out. Yeah. I can't do that with everybody. True. Mm. I can't yeah. do that with everybody. Like my, one of my colleague, former colleagues said, there's a thin line between business and friendship. Yes. When it's time for work, I will switch to my work mood. When yes. it's time to play, I will play with you. Yes. And I learned that it's part of emotional intelligence from her. She said, yes. look, when you annoy me as a my, my colleague, I will give it to you. Yes. As a friend, I will give it to you. Yes. So there has to be that thin line. Yeah, there, there has to be that thin line. Mm. And um, you know, when I will collaborate with this set of people, I know the goal. And uh, that also helped me to say, see, whenever and uh, when some other people come to me and say, let us partner, I said, that's not a problem. But my rules are I don't do percentage mm. when it comes to partnership. Okay. Let's spell out the profit. Okay. So this is the cost price for this product. Put your hands on. I put my hand on. Okay, beautiful. So the it's number like of people you bring is your profit. The number of people I bring is my profit. profit. No so no, no fight. No. I like that. I no, like no, that for me. That's good. That's that's how I do. Ah, my baby boy, you're teaching mama something. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, let's be ourselves. Sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap up. Before we, th- we I can stuck with Ayamide for like uh, forever. Uh, that's how we do. Yeah. All right, so I mean, let's go to the fun part about you. Three things that people don't know about you. Three <laughs> things. I know you you claim to be a private person. <laughs> so share three things that people don't know about you. Uh, you don't say when you say you are, you, are, you are shy. I want to say, you, you want to say me out like this. Hey, baby. You better answer your mama. <laughs> answer your mama. Okay. So three things, just three things. Three things. Yes, please. <laughs> Got the beg. I didn't hear that one. Got the beg. Is it, you're going to beg it. Stop a begging here. It's not serious. It's not serious. I said three things. I said you're going to beg uh, I'm a shy person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly. See me rolling my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, mm-hmm. uh, I don't like rice and beans. <laughs> my heart. Yes, I don't like it mixed. Look, my, see, yes. my producer is looking at you. I, yes. My heart. Yes. How can you not like rice and beans? I don't like rice and beans. Hey, I'm missing. I can only eat it if the sauce is super good. And then then the, I just focus on the sauce. But your mind is not showing that it's beast inside the rice. <laughs> <laughs> my heart has caught. That's, that's so don't, give me, don't give me rice and beans. I shouldn't give you. So when you come to my house, I shouldn't give rice Don't give me rice and beans. All right, I please, eat all kinds of food, but don't give me rice and beans. <laughs> Yes. Okay, on number three. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> number three, yes, I can cross my leg. Hey, so you see, I see me cross my leg. I you know, cannot do I it. I can't do that. Wow. No. So that means you can't do that Buddha sitting. No, no. I ah, that's my favorite I can't position. Cross my legs. Just cross your legs. Ew. She's <laughs> struggling, no? She's really struggling. <laughs> so you can't, you can't cross your legs. Oh my god. It doesn't goodness. cross. Wow. I want to. Uh, Somebody so that means if I want do that enjoy. Buddha for you, then you'd be very jealous. Ah, <laughs> what's that? So since my sitting position is always like this, the highest I can go is like this. Let's try it now. Ah, this one is okay now. Ah, no, put it over. <laughs> those who, those who cannot me. see you, let's go to our YouTube page so you can see. You now tell me a, a, man, a gentleman should cut task of that. Hey, look at me crossing very well. Uh, ma. <laughs> Right, so yes, that's that. Wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
share one of your favorite tourism destinations in Nigeria and <sighs> Africa. At oh least one. Because I know if I tell you to do two, three, you do like five. Uh, Just one of your favorite destinations uh, in Nigeria. It still I remains. I think, I think I knew it. It still remains Obudu Mountain. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it shouting. still remains Obudu Mountain. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> oh, God. You should visit that place. I need to visit Guys, that place. if you are listening to me, visit Obudu Mountain Resort. I hear it you. is heavenly. Forget what the media is saying. So the beautiful thing about some places in Nigeria mm-hmm. is that they are not human um human made. made. They are not man made. They're mo- they're they're natural. Not ma- they are natural. Have natural they are natural. Yeah. So there's no way you are doing a bad management. Mm. It still stays. Mm. That's mm. overdue. Mm. The clouds will still come. Yeah. The luxuriousness, the will, luxuriousness still be there. will still be there. The cold will still be there. Mm. You know, it's that beautiful. Leave no water, leave the cabins are bad. If all of those things happen, step out, take a walk it. and experience it. So why, why I said that was because one of my fo- one of my trips there, the driver we took there mm. to Obudu, where he hasn't been there before. He couldn't even drive up here. Wow. Was that cloudy? That, it's cloudy and he's scared. So someone drove for us, drove the car for us. But when he got up, I realized he kept quiet for a long time. Mm. Then when he got up to the up hill, he picked up his phone immediately mm-hmm. and called his wife. And what did he tell her? And said, <laughs> I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> heaven. I'm not in Lagos again. I'm, I'm not in Nigeria. <laughs> I'm in heaven. This place is, is amazing. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Come and see. And it was, and at that point, he was my fulfillment. Not even the people mm. I brought to Budo. Him, was your he was happy all through that trip he walked around he came back giving us t- <laughs> like have you been here have you been, <laughs> <laughs> have you been there so you're saying so yeah, you're to, 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 to 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 yes. well, now you go package it to us for me too <laughs> i'm coming to you all right so any last words for our listeners especially those in the tourism space those want to come in um just to inspire people mm. any last words yes um tourism is sweet mm. some people call it blood money <laughs> <laughs> why is that by and it is because um it hasn't still been structured yeah so you can you can yeah. it's you can make your money you can as long as you can offer services mm-hmm. and give people value mm. for what you charge them mm. they will come back mm-hmm. they will pay you mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because we are dealing with people yeah. it, it is it is a blessed industry we are we are we see two things we are we are all evangelists Mm-hmm. Because yes. we are showcasing what God did has and has made. We are blessing people's life. I can't count, I'm, honestly, I can't count how many people that have come to me and say, hey, why I'm depressed. One of those people, after we went on a particular tour, in fact, we just went to Takwa Bay for the day. My person came back for the And he came back and he has been saying, God bless you ever since. Mm. He didn't know what this thing did to me. Mm. God bless you. Mm. And that was it. So that just... Does that opportunity just go somewhere to just de- de- cluster yourself? See, that's what tourism. That's and what it does. does. Uh, I don't. I'm not part of the people that say I'm still looking for fulfillment or my purpose. Mm. See, my purpose is tourism. It is where it is. Mm. I'm a full time tourism advocate or pro- a professional. I don't do any other thing. Mm. I've tried to. You know, to other things. Nah, you just found just this come. is your happy this place. Is it. So for every other person coming, know your why. It's you. It's very very important. People will toss you up and down, but once you, will you know, get discouraged, you will get discouraged. So days you, will, you will cry. You send you message. You, you will cry. cry. You will lose as money. As your passion and you know what you're doing, why you're doing. Why you're doing it. That's number one. Number two. Establish relationship with people. Bam. And don't burn bridges. People will say, Ah, are you, ah, you still in contact with Google Africa? Oh, why not? Yeah. Yes, I still see them, I'll still hug them, I'll still greet them, I'll smile and all. Because yes, why not? Mm. Because when you get stuck at a point, those are the people, those you, people that you reach out to because they trained you and they guided yes. you. And I'm glad for this for our set, our generation mm-hmm. actually, mm-hmm. this particular set. Um, because when I speak to some of them I'm like, ah, when I needed the contact for a border stuff, I went to Google Africa. I went to this person. Yeah. I went to that person. Yeah. 
And yes, so once you have all of that, um, you'll be good. We we still need more people. We need creative guys in the industry. Yeah, creative guys. Need, I like how you say creative guys, yes. not just anybody. No, not just anybody. Creative no, guys. because we every, and just anybody, we are plenty. <laughs> <laughs> but we need creative guys, guys in the industry come. to so bring what, it up. What I like about the second part is that build relationships. In yeah. fact, our, our industry is actually relationship centric. I remember when someone was looking for a visa or something, information. Yeah. We just throw it in our WhatsApp group. And then people and people will answer, it. oh yes, yes, this is this, 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 this. Yes. That is the beauty yes. of it. Yes. Being in, and yeah. guys, drawing groups that you will grow in, mm-hmm. they will have their problems. Everybody oh, does. Will. But mm-hmm. having in groups or communities that you can get information yeah. that can help you grow is mm-hmm. also very important. Yes. And yeah, I see Ayomi Didi. When they ask, Ayomi Didi is always one of people to give information. So that's what I'm mentioning uh, <laughs> your heads. Well, right, before sorry, we continue sorry, talking sorry. again. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. All right. I hope you say bye-bye to everybody now. Ah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>we conclude our journey across Nigeria and Africa on See the World with Ajala Nene. We hope you enjoyed exploring this journey with us and that you feel inspired to discover its unique beauty for yourself. Thank you for listening. For your feedback and comment, feel free to hit us up across our socials at See the World with Ajala Nene and you can find me personally at Ajala Nene on Instagram. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Your journey and your adventure awaits you.